want to give a little context of why the show was created in the first place. Uh, we started about two years ago, and the three to six months leading up to the first episode recording was pretty bonkers. Uh, Facebook had just rebranded to Meta. ChatGPT just released their first public facing AI chatbot. Everyone was running all these experiments with VR and AI and trying to figure out what it all meant. Nvidia stock was going through the roof. NFTs were trading like crazy. And the conflict between return to office and remote work was at an all time high. So all of these things were kind of indicators to me of a future that was starting to build a future of a 3D immersive internet where we stopped just consuming content and we started observing and interacting with content, moving from marketing to our customers to building experiences with our customers. And so when I started the show, it was actually very selfish. Um, I personally wanted a platform for the builders, the experts that were creating technologies for that future to be able to sit down and talk to me and, and tell me their story and what they're working on and share their POV on where all of this is going. Over the course of the last 34 conversations, I've learned a lot. And, and part of that is what my voice is and my role in the space. And so most of my background is in enterprise sales, working with large global companies to figure out how they buy and create processes around emerging tech and working with startups to form how they sell it and how they talk about it, how they work with a bigger company. And so the guests I bring on the show are a lot of creatives, technologists, a wide range of founders and business leaders, but always bringing that lens of moving from what we can build to what we should build. What are the real use cases? What are the things customers will use this technology for? How do we fund it? How do we find a budget for it? The selling and buying processes. I met a ring. 